All right, everyone, it's Hugh Sweeney back here today with another video for you in which I'm gonna discuss these two tripods that I got my hands on a couple of months ago. Now, I've been using these extensively as my main tripods ever since, both for work projects and stuff I'm doing myself as well, including bird photography with a big, heavy lens. So starting off with this one, this is the T36 40cm tripod here. It's carbon fiber and it has these screw type leg adjustments here. Speaking of which, it's got three adjustments on each leg, meaning that each leg has four sections. So it's a four section tripod and it's of decent height uh, without any head. There you can see it's coming up to my shoulder and I'm about six foot two. Now obviously you can extend it out and speaking of that, you can also get great purchase on the leg here, okay? Meaning that you can get this pretty much straight down flat on the ground, which is always something uh, you kind of want. Now, this type of lever here, not every tripod has this. I have one or two kind of older tripods. They'd be cheaper tripods than these and they have a sort of a hinge system like this. And I have noticed that in the past they do loosen, but I have a feeling that this is a much more robust connection here. So I'm gonna remain positive that this isn't gonna loosen in a while. And it's got a lovely stiffness to it. It's stiff, but it's not too stiff. <laughs> Don't go there. And I'm liking that. And of course, the little spring led lever here is beautiful quality, letting you just, you know, open it out and crank it up to a higher angle there. Now the head of this, you can adjust it as well. This can be opened up and you can take this out and put a ball head in there or just leave it like I have, which has got the large quarter inch thread here, which is gonna take a, a tripod head. So obviously I can put a much bigger head. This is only a small head from eye footage and that'll just show you how big this beast of a thing is, how small that head looks on it. So I have a much bigger Manfrotto head I can use on this as well. My first impressions of the quality, the build quality of this, very good I would say. The carbon fiber just feels lovely. It's incredibly strong. But having said that, it's really light. When you pick them up, they're just beautifully light and so solid. I'm not just saying this, I really am not I, I just was very impressed. These screw type legs, um, I'm not overly familiar. Most of my tripods in the past have been a lever type system. So these sort of take a little bit more work sometimes. There's a lot of screwing involved. Nothing like a bit of hot tea. Might be as quick as a lever system, but in the long run, you might be kind of better off with these. Now, one little negative with these is, it's kind of hard to know if they're tight or if they're not tight. If you forget about them, uh, which one is tight, you have to actually manually check by going like this. It would be nice, you know, if there was, was a color so that you could see just above the threading there, if it reveals, say, like a bright, a bright red or even a lime green color or something like that, just so that by looking at it, you would know if it was loose, if it was unscrewed, because I just kind of found myself double checking with that. So that's it, folded up. As you can see, it's really compact. If I take off the head, you'll see that it fits very snugly into this bag provided. Now, one thing I noticed about manufacturers is when they make bags, they tend to make bags really tight. Now, you can put the tripod in the bag, but isn't it lovely if you didn't have to take the head off each time? So that means that if you wanna use the bag, you have to unscrew the tripod head. So what are you gonna do with the head? Bring it in another bag? So I wish that they made a bigger bag, cause that's quite a nice bag. And it would be nice if they just had it so that you could just put the tripod and, you know, a standard sized head even into the bag. And even if the bag was a bit too big, would it matter? You know, if you had a little bit of space for a larger head than you use. So also in the bag here, we have these guys, which are a set of spiky feet, okay? Spiky feet, they come with it as well. And there's this ball head mount, which you can replace on the top of the tripod. So you can swap out the flat head, which I have for a little ball of fixing. Now, speaking of that, if you go to their website, they have a huge amount of accessories. There's, there's even a thing like an extension arm, a carbon fiber extension arm, which looks like it's great quality and it's only about $30. What it could do is you could screw to the top of the tripod 
and get huge height if you want it. So just check out their accessories on their website. It's really, they're quite, they're quite cool. I'm, I'm quite liking this company, to be honest with you. One thing I noticed about these guys is a lovely kind of a click, kind of a dead click when you uh, extend them out. So it's satisfying, you can hear it there. That'll... So I do hope that over time that these, um, all this stuff lasts. I have a feeling it will. Underneath the tripod, you've got a big strong hook uh, that can be unscrewed and you can just hang whatever you want off that. Sometimes it's nice to, to hang stuff. They also have kind of brace uh, accessories where you can, you know, Velcro on a strap around the legs and hang a thing here, a bowl of, of I don't know, whatever you want. Just hang a little bag with stuff in it. I don't really do that. One little thing I'd change if I was uh, some way photo is the branding. Um, it's a small bit kind of, the little bubble logos here could be a little bit cooler. I'm kind of clutching at straws here. There's a sticker on the leg. You know, maybe slightly upgrade the branding might be an idea. I'm not really bothered, it's just a suggestion. Now speaking of legs, you can get an accessory, you can get leg pads. They did send me what they call leg warmers, which is a, a kind of a Velcro neoprene type pad that you just put on here. I don't I don't think that carbon fiber gets that cold and it's, it's quite nice just to hold this. You don't really need insulation on it. Not a problem for me, keep it light and keep it simple. That's why I just use the tripod like this. I mean, it's really, look, I'm holding it with just a few fingers there. It's really light. I don't know what light, what weight it is technically, go on their website, but I am super impressed with this. I have just no reason whatsoever to upgrade to a new tripod. I'm thrilled with this. And I'm, I'm not just saying that because they sent it to me. I just love this tripod. It's just really cool. I prefer these types of tripods. I prefer sets of sticks than spreaders. The spreader type tripod with, with, you know, the big feet and all that. I find that they're a little bit harder work. I just prefer to keep things like on these types of tripods. Now, I just mentioned feet. One little thing that I noticed was when I was doing a job, these feet, I hadn't checked them, but um, one of these came off. So it must have been loose coming out of the factory, but one of them came off and I was on a job and a guy, I went looking for it. I couldn't find it. Some guy came up to me and says, did you lose this? And I was thrilled because I didn't want to have to go trying to order one. So I would just say that if there was a little bit more of a, you know, a way of locking them in, it might be good, you know, with a Allen key or something. I don't know. So that's just a small little thing. Overall, I think for the price, I think this is about $600. I'm not too sure just for this. So pretty cool. So before I talk about my, how I use this, I'm gonna go on to this tripod here. This is a baby brother. This is kind of a, a different series. I'll put the name up. This isn't from the Master series. I think this is the Explorer series or something like that. It's a lighter tripod. What, look, this is just awesome. It's really awesome. Um, I'm gonna to explain to you why right now, okay? Firstly, let me take this head off, okay? They sent me this head. I'm gonna leave the code number up on the screen. It's just a really cool, a QR style Arca Swiss uh, head here for photography. Now it's not a ball head. Ball heads are very, very quick and handy, but when you have heavier lenses, these heads are better. I'll come, come back to that in a second. But let me talk about this guy. Um, featherweight, super strong, super tall uh, tripod. Now it doesn't look that tall there, okay? When I widen it out, is it fully up? It is, yeah, sorry, it's not overly tall, but when you extend the neck column, you can get great height. This, this fixture here, this little bit that tightens up here is absolutely beautiful. It is so solid, honestly. I use this one. This is sort of like their Travel Explorer, that like their lightweight tripod for, you know, keeping it light, compact and small. I use this with the big lens, the big three kilogram Sigma 500 mm lens. I'll show that to you in a minute on the other tripod. Let's just see how compact it can go. With these guys, just slide them all in like that and then bring them in like that. Now again, it's a four way. It has the same type of feet as this other tripod, which is the T3640CM. This is the T2840CE. So if we put that in like that, uh, we can drop this down. I mean, come on, that is beautiful. For its size, it's just so strong. Again, the same type of hinges as on the larger tripod. 
And there's a lovely flat head up here, which can be used for all different types of, uh, you know, connections. So I'm loving that. I'm absolutely loving that fixture on the top. Now, this is a photography style head here, which is a kind of a tilt head. Now, why would you use this and not, and not a ball head? Well, a ball head will be much quicker, just if you want to grab shots straight away, but there's obviously advantages to a tilt head like this. In other words, you have complete control of certain axes. I look like a robot. And as well as that, with bigger, heavier lenses, a little head like this will probably work out a bit better for you because you don't want a ball head putting a big, heavy lens and then you just, and it just the camera just falls to one side. This is gonna give you way more uh, strength. The build quality of this tripod head is just a thing of beauty. Buttery smooth. So there's dual levers, meaning that you can either tighten it up on the left or the right. It's got the Arca Swiss uh, QR clamp, quick release clamp, meaning that you sort of screw on your camera, which in many cases is kind of a blessing in disguise. I have had a few horror stories. So, as you can see there, absolutely fantastic adjustments on this. So uh, yeah, it's not a geared head. It kind of looks like a geared head, but it's a, a very smooth pan and tilt styled adjustable head like that. I think it's really good. I'm glad they sent me this. So it's gonna take a big weight. That's just a light camera, but we're talking really solid, solid head. So if you're in the photography game and you're kind of sick of the ball head thing, I would say check this guy out, check it out. See, if you wanna just adjust it very slightly this way, so as you can see, it let you make small little adjustments. And then of course you can adjust this top one here as well. You've great controllability and fluidity. Sometimes when you're tightening it up, you have to just double check. The clamp seems to get caught a little bit and you have to just niggle it to release it. Very small thing. It's a very secure head. It's one thing I love about this Sunway gear. I feel really good about having my uh, cameras on it. It's just, I mean, look at the, the steel fixings in that. So I'm loving it. Arca Swiss, lockable screws either side. It's not gonna go anywhere. So if you're not familiar with one of these, which I wasn't really up until I got this, basically what they are is, it's like a kind of a gimbal head. Uh, not like a camera gimbal you'd use for smooth videography but it's like a balancing thing for your big heavy lenses. If you're doing a lot of shooting in the one area, you know, you're shooting out to the horizon or you're tracking birds or whatever, you know, instead of lifting a really heavy lens all the time, this is gonna be ideal for you. Once again, we have the sort of Arca Swiss plate. Now this is a really long one and it's got two extra strong Allen key type uh, bolts there because you know, Putting this on a lens, usually it's gonna be on a big heavy lens and you know, maybe a little small screw isn't enough. So two of these is highly recommended. So I'm just gonna tighten up the Arca Swiss plate here. Now this is an extra long one that goes onto the lens for obvious reasons because what you're gonna want is with this type of thing, you're gonna want strength, okay? A small little standard screw that you, you know, you screw on with the five cent coin or something isn't gonna be good enough. So here you go, camera's upside down. I'll straighten that in a minute. I'm just gonna kind of lock it in for now so that it's not gonna fall out. And then I'm gonna just straighten out my camera. That should be very easily done like this. So this is your gimbal head. It's lockable there. There's a little lockable switch on the top here. As you can see, it's a little bit front heavy. So it doesn't take long to, to balance that, you know, to get it fairly close. To where you want it. Now there's a slider here as well, so that means that you can, you see, you gotta be ready because that's a heavy lens. So there's a slider so you can slide it up vertically. Now, the lower down it is, you know, the easier the easier it's gonna be there to manage. But um, sometimes I think it's better if you actually center, if you look at this axis here, center that. So that means that the lens is kind of pivoting in the middle of the lens there, rather than swinging it, you know, that way. So um, that's working out good. Again, the Arca Swiss is very, very, very secure. 
Now it's got its own sort of deadening. I don't know how it works. It just manages to sort of deaden things itself. And it does it quite effectively. In other words, counterbalance. You can just leave it there. Now if you go fully down, you can just see that. It's quite easy for me to, to move that. But then when I leave it, it's gonna stop. So there's a couple of reasons why you would use this. Obviously, you know, you're keeping the big heavy lens out of your hands. And if you're tracking stuff a lot, you know, if you're, if you're at a reservoir or stuff and you're getting birds flying in and you want to be able to do a nice tracking shot without getting really tired because these lenses weigh a ton. This, this lens is very heavy. It's about three and a half kilos. So it's going to just give you a chance to kind of nail those shots. Plus, it'll give you opportunities to do smoother panning shots as well. If you're shooting photographs and you want to do a little bit of video as well, it's very, very hard to beat a gimbal like this because you can get a lot of movement, a lot more than you would with the tripod, very quickly as well. Plus it's gonna stay in position. And then if you wanna just switch to video, you know, you can do so and let go and it's bang on, it's not gonna move. Now you won't really do that with the tripod as well. For specific video where you're just shooting video, a tripod is probably better. But when you're shooting photos and videos, I think this is actually better, it's quicker. Now, I have a small few criticisms of this gimbal, GH02. As you can see there, it's really smooth the way I have it now. I quite like that, it can be nice. Um, if I want to deaden, if I want to lock it up here, I use the screw, okay? So it's now locked up. But what if I want to maybe deaden it? I can't use this screw. What I have to do is use this screw. That's gonna deaden it, but I have to kind of crank it up a lot and then it sort of doesn't deaden it that satisfyingly. I would like if it sort of was a little bit more, you know, kind of a more fluid style deadening. Obviously we're dealing with big weights here and we're also dealing with a, a contraption that's only, you know, costing $250. So it's a very affordable thing. So there's a limit to what you can expect from a device like this that costs so much. And there is a higher quality version on their website. Maybe that works a little bit better. I would like to try that. But from me, from using this, the GH02, I, I'm, I'm more than happy with what it can do for me. And I found using it that um, it was just great. Once I got in position, you know, if you're in a hide or something and you're kind of focusing on the cert certain shots, it's gonna be great for you. There's lovely quality to the, the construction. I would perhaps consider maybe not having like big silver dials, you know? I mean, this is for bird photographers mostly, so they should look at sort of bringing out just anodized, you know, dark green. Look at what I've done to the lens here. So when I'm out, you know, you can get away maybe with the camera, your hands are gonna be over the camera, but you might be able to hang something over that, but it would be nice if they just made a kind of camo version, maybe not mottled camo, but just even a sort of a flat olive green. It might look as sophisticated, but I think uh, the photographers, the wildlife photographers would like it. So the build quality is great, it's fantastic, and it goes really well with the tripod. So just again, to take off the camera, you just unscrew it like that. I've just reverted back to the uh, little video head here. Uh, one thing that they don't seem to do on the Sunway photo website is video heads. They have plenty of ball heads and geared heads and lever heads for photography, but no video heads. So I'm looking forward to seeing what Sunway photo might come up with in terms of video. So I've, I've no need whatsoever to go looking at tripods for a very, very long time. These are gonna carry absolutely anything I want. Even this one is gonna be sort of my main tripod, believe it or not. And I'll bring this one out every now and again when I have a bigger payload. But that's probably gonna take it as well. They're super strong. They're just incredibly light, incredibly strong and durable and I'm loving these. So check out Sunway Photos. Go to the links down below as well. Buy them through me. That way you kind of help support me as well and you might get a bit of a discount too. So check that one out. And until the next video guys, that's all from me. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you very, very soon in the next video. This is beautiful.